Lord of heaven, that tonight, Lord, I pray that every stormy wind that has been raging in every life, in every home, in our ministry, in our health, in our workplaces, oh God, we pray that tonight, oh God, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, every stormy wind, everything will be still tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we are praying, Amen. Lord God, that tonight you will do wonders in every one of our lives. Amen. Pray for all our brethren, all our Amen. brothers and sisters who are here to join. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will strengthen them, energize them, quicken them, and help them, O oh God, so that every one of us, by your grace and power, we shall receive, we shall be partakers of your mighty blessings tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, Amen. in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Sorry, I'm hearing Amen. faintly. I don't know who we can... I'm hearing our voice faintly. I'm not he actually hearing it very well. Can you hear me very well, please? We are hearing it very well. Yes. Yes. Very loud. No, yeah. uh, that means it's the network. All right. We want to appreciate God tonight. We want to thank him for all that God has been doing in every one of our lives, in our individual life to start with, as pastors, as brothers and sisters in the ministry, and those who have been consistently joining us. God has been so faithful to us, enabling us, supporting us, assisting us, financing this project, and God did not allow this project to become an abandoned project. I mean, you can imagine how many we have spent more than a year or two years now. Even when it's a place as if some little challenge with the finances, God goes always make a way around it. And so that's what tonight, by the grace of God, the Lord is leading us. To consider an important subject, I wrote it on the platform, Jesus, the master of the storm. And that is what we are considering tonight. I'm making reference to um, Mark chapter 4. I actually put it on the platform for us so that we can... Mark, Mark chapter 4, I'm going to read from verse 35. Mark, Mark chapter, chapter 4, four from verse 35, all through to the end, that's to verse 41. He said, and the same and day, the same day, 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 when the evening when was gone, was gone, gone just like you're saying like now, darkness everywhere, everywhere. evening, just like, just like when, when you cannot move, move freely, when it appears everything, everybody returned back to bed and all bed that. He said, when the evening was you know, was come, he said unto them, let us pass over to the other side. Now, Jesus Christ is trying to go to the other side. As we begin to look at what is actually happening now, we are almost crossing over to the new year. I mean, look at where we are now, September. The month of September, September. As we have September. entered the ember month, where we many people, for majority of people in the world, is always a time of storm. In fact, I even stopped on the particular clips. What is happening in some countries, some other countries, you know, in Europe and all that, they have been experiencing terrible, terrible things. I'm telling you, God is a loving God, he really oh, loves this really nation. Love I'm, telling, I'm telling, you, telling you, so many, so many countries are, are, they are experiencing stormy wind, powerful storms. I saw one day, I saw we started praying now. Ah, uh, in fact, it's so devastating, so powerful that even the, the lights, the houses, story building, all those duplexes, all those uh, mansions, everything, quick, because of the power of the storm. And uh, so many countries are experiencing flood, rain everywhere. In fact, it's so devastating. And we are talking about storm. He said, Christ said, let us go over to the other side. And uh, let's look at that, verse 36. He said, and when they are, and when, and when they are sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. 
And there were also with him other little ships, verse 37. And there arose, there as, don't forget, Jesus invited us. He said, let us go over to the other side. And as we are moving on, yet the enemy want to bring storm. Not even an ordinary storm now, a great storm, a great storm. And what is symbolic of that storm? Storm is a symbol of trouble. I want to tell you that anytime you begin to talk about storm, you are referring to troubles of life, troubles that can come in every direction, troubles that can come even into the Troubles that can come into individuals' life, trouble that can come into the ministry, trouble that can come in the workplace, trouble that can come in one's health, trouble that can come, you know, in diverse ways. So many troubles. It could mean perplexities when somebody will almost get confused. You don't know what to do again. You come to a crossroads because of the storms of life. You don't know whether to go forward or to go back, whether to go to the right or to the left. There is confusion. There is perplexity. Anything that may cause to be agitated, anything that may cause to be unsettled, anything that may cause to be disorganized is a storm. And that is what we want to address tonight. You know, that storm could be in form of worry and anxiety when things are actually not going on well. And we keep asking God, oh Lord, am I going to remain like this? Am I going to continue like this? Is there no solution to my problem? Where are you? And people are asking, and they even say, where is the God that you say you are serving? And our, our God is, of course, is in heaven. Our God answers prayers. Our God never fails. He's a wonder-working God. He's the almighty God. In fact, his understanding is unsearchable. And that is why we are talking about these storms tonight. And I want to tell you, even the examples of storms, don't forget that verse 37 said, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waters beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Look at verse 38. And it was in the inner part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and say unto him, Master, they had to call on Jesus. That's exactly what we are trying to do tonight. We want to call on him because he's the only one that has all the power to come, to come every storm. He's the only one that has all the power to silence every activity of the devil. He's the only one that has all the power, you know, to put all those perplexity out of our lives and out of our family. He's the only one that has all the power to remove every troubles of life and then bring, you know, peace and joy into our life, into our own. He's the only one that has all the power to give us a settled mind and an organized family, organized ministry. He's the only one that that has all the power to take away worry and anxiety. He's the only one that has all the power, you know, to actually bring, I mean, to take away every sickness, life-threatening sicknesses here and there. Just like somebody wrote on our platform that we should pray for his own sister that is having cancer of the breast. That is life-threatening. That storms of life. We want to actually hand over all of these to God and say, God, we know you are the only one that can do it. We know you are the only one that can revive us. We know you are the only one that can revitalize us. We know you are the only one that can bring restoration. And that is what we want to do tonight. First of all, we are going to begin. We want to call upon the Lord tonight. We want to appreciate God. Look at all that God has done in the time past. Come to think about it. He has been so faithful to us. I look back and I say, God, God, I thank you. Are there no people that we started together, maybe at a very tender age, even when we did not even know the Lord? Some of them have died. Some of them are nowhere to be found. People don't even know the whereabouts of some of them. Some of them might, be, might even be in the prison. Here you are, by the grace of God. The Lord has been so faithful to you, keeping you, preserving you, sustaining you. We want to give all the glory to God. Please open your mouth and join me now as we begin to celebrate God, as we begin to appreciate God. Please open your mouth. I want to hear us pray now. Let's open our mouth, unmute Amen. yourself now, and be 
name of the Lord. Let's honor God and appreciate God and say, Father, thank you once again because you have assisted us thus far in this journey. As we look back on God, some of us here, we are more than 50 years now. Some of us now, we are more, more than 60 years. Some of us now, we are advancing in age and we know that have been so faithful to us. We have escaped so many, many challenges yet that come that has come against our lives, against our family, against our children, against our wives, against our husband, and the Lord has been our been our so called. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to appreciate God? Remember Psalm 46. He said, God is our strength and refuge. God, God is our today. refuge and strength in very present help in trouble. Why don't you God. open your mouth and say, God, God thank you once God. again for what you have done God. in our lives, in our, in our in our individual lives, in our God. family, God. in our homes. Open God. your mouth and give him all the praises. I want to hear us praying, brethren. I want to hear us praying. Open your mouth God. and call upon God. the Lord this night. Let's God. God. adore God. him and say, God, thank you once again God. to God. God because of the abundance God. of your mercy. See, it's not because we are better than those other people who have gone. It's because of the mercy of God. It's because of the kindness of our God. It's because of the favor of God. It's because of the goodness of God. It's because of the power of God. Open your mouth and give him all the praises tonight. Open your mouth and up and celebrate God in your soul, celebrating. In your spirit, celebrating. In your life, celebrating. In your family, celebrate God. Honor him and praise him once again tonight. Just as I am doing now, I'm, I'm grateful unto God. Almighty God, everlasting Father, gracious God, I am here this night, oh God, to celebrate you, to celebrate your power, to celebrate your wonders, your majesty. Look at all that you have done in our lives, oh God. Look at the journey so far, my Father, from the day one. Almighty God, you have been our strength, you have been our stay, you have been our refuge, our buckler, our shield, you are the God of our salvation, you are the one that will be helping us, defending us on every side, against all the hosts of darkness, against all the powers of darkness, against all the forces of air. Almighty God, he did not allow the powers of darkness to prevail over our soul, over our lives. Almighty God, here we are this night, and we say, Lord, we are grateful. Holy Father, we are grateful. Lord, we reference you tonight, oh God. Blessed be your name, oh God, in Jesus' name. Almighty God, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to open our mouth to thank God once again, brethren. If you are hearing my voice, even though I'm not hearing us very well, I'm only hearing faintly. I don't know whether it's a network problem. We want to open our yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah, you say. very, very, very well. Very, very, very well. Unique. Thank <laughs> you so much. I said we are hearing. Go ahead, very, sir. I said we are hearing him very, very well. I'm very sorry to interrupt. All is still. Program. You know, many are connected from Germany, some are connected from UK, some are connected from America, some are con con connected from different, different parts of, you know, state in Nigeria here. And many of us are scattered here and here. And the grace of God has been helping us. We want to thank God once again that God, since we started the program, God did not allow us to hear a calamity to be for me, that, that any calamity befall anyone one of us, the Lord has been sustaining us, has been giving us the grace, even though the enemy brought out claim the life of some of our pastor, God did to Let's give all the praise God and say, Father, once again, I remember when our brother came up the other time, one of our pastors, and he was telling us about how the wife, you know, started losing blood, and it was like the wife was almost dying. But by the grace of God, the Almighty God, by his power, rescued the woman, and by the grace of God, our sister came back to life. We want to give all the praises to God. Please open your mouth and worship God once again. Many of us have made several journeys here and there, traveling from one 
one place to another. And God did not allow accident to claim our life. He did not allow sickness to, you know, to claim us. He did not allow the enemy, the will of the enemy to be fulfilled in us. Open your mouth and praise God once again tonight. Let's give him all the praises and appreciate God and say, Father, we are grateful unto you, God, for the way you have been defending us, for the way you have been fighting our battle for us against all the powers of darkness, against all the forces of hell, almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we are grateful. Sir, Redeemer, God, once again, we thank you so much because in that way you have helped us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Are we hearing my voice? Please? Amen. Okay. Yes. We want to pray. We want to call upon the Lord this time once again, brethren. We are talking about storm. Jesus is the master of the storm. Because in that our text, he said there arose a great storm. The storm that is going on in your, your own personal life now. The storm are in various categories. And I'm going to mention some of them. Do you know some are experiencing that storm, storm of backsliding. It's almost making them to go back to forget God, making them to forget Christ, to forget the Bible, to forget the word of God. And they are no longer, and they are, in fact, they are behaving like Peter, following Christ from afar off. And they're following him at a distance. They are no longer walking side by side with the Lord again. We want to pray tonight. Are there people among us here tonight on this platform? Maybe they join us on Monday or they will join us on Thursday or they join us on Saturday or they join us even on Sunday like this or maybe they even, maybe among our brethren and yet they are going through the storm because iniquity is abounding. Sin is almost knocking their door and pulling them that we want to pray tonight. Every storm of backsliding, every storm that is raging in such lives, we want to pray tonight and say, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, let all those stormy winds that is Pulling down our brother, mm -hmm. our sister, mm -hmm. let everything, let there be calmness mm -hmm. now. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord? Please open your mouth. And... Oh, Lord. Let there be calmness. Oh, Lord. Eh? Thank you, Lord. Let's continue to call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, testimony will continue to abide. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. On your family, on your wife, on your children. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to manifest his power. And the joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. Surrender all to him. Tell him his grace shall be sufficient for you. Let's call upon him. 
that anywhere you go, anywhere you find yourself, the presence of the Lord should abide with you. Call upon him. Prevail their lives upon their mind, upon their soul. Tonight, in Jesus' name, in Amen. Jesus name, we pray. Amen. 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 We want to pray. We want to begin to take it one by one. I remember somebody wrote a uh, a prayer request now, as I was just going through, and the person said, "Let me even read that prayer request." I want to read it so that we can understand where I'm going to. And the brother wrote the request, and it's so pathetic that we have to really pray. We have to call upon the Lord. And the person said, please kindly help me pray for my immediate younger sister, the same father, the same mother, I guess, that was diagnosed of cancer. The breast. Uh -uh. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Just early this year, one of my, I told us just uh, sometimes ago, one of my friends, a brother, a pastor in, the, in this church, he lost his wife to this same breast cancer. Let's continue to pray that all those who are in that kind of situation, cancer, or ulcer, and all other terminal diseases, that if or not terminal one only, any disease, it gets brain it gets tiny ones of us and be, it becomes way whereby our income is going. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The King of King, Lord of Lord. You touch every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We touch us. We touch any member of our family that, that are in this kind of situation. Let's pray. Let's pray. Any belong unto the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. All those people who have lost hope. What they are what they are counting. It's the days to the grave. As God touched Ezekiah, let's call upon the name of the Lord, that God will touch their life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that on timely death, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, will not be the portion of any one of us, will not be the portion of our wife, will not be the portion of our children, will not be the portion of our husband. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Instead, God is going to replace, replace all this with long life and prosperity. You will make it. I will make it in the name of Jesus Christ. We command that tongue to be still now. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. 
Amen. Amen. Sorry, the network has been fluctuating. Uh, we are still praying, brethren. We are talking about the storms of sicknesses. All the storm of affliction. I want to tell you that poverty is an affliction. Impoverishment is an affliction. I was talking to somebody this evening, and uh, I was just wondering, because for a means of survival, I said, how are you managing to survive? I said, well, I have to manage. I just have to manage. I said, how many are you in your family? She said, there are six. That I said, why are you up to now? You have not, you are still there. You have not uh, made much progress and all that. She said, well, when the parent, our parent is not having money to sponsor them, to be able to take care of them, that is what I'm talking about. And even the younger brothers, some are doing, uh, you know, security work. You know, where they're giving them maybe 10,000, 15,000. Come to think about it. How would that, how do you think that, that kind of person will be able to manage their lives here and here? We want to pray. With all this economic situation, economic, uh, you know, recession in the nation and all that, we want to cry to God. We want to pray and say, God, all these storms of affliction, affliction in form of poverty, affliction in form of impoverishment, people are going through a lot in this last day, I'm telling you. And that's why we have to cry to God, to pay us rent become a problem, to pay school fees for the children become a problem, to be able to settle one bill or the other become a problem. That's why many, many of those girls, they are resorting to prostitution and all manner of evil. They want to pray and say, God, all these things are of affliction in our life. He said, they they will not be put to shame. Are you praying tonight? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, every storm of poverty and penury, all the storms of impoverishment, all the storm of shame, all the reproaches in every life, in every home, in our family, oh God, tonight we command that stormy wind to be still tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Be still. That's what the master said. Open your mouth and pray. And command the storm. Please unmute yourself and pray. Unmute yourself and let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, every stormy wind that have been raging against the father, against the husband, against the wife, against the children, causing commotion, causing confusion. We want to pray and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, enough is enough of all this stormy wind, oh God. We command that, that stormy wind to be still now. In the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, you storms of life, you storm of affliction, you storms of penury. Every life in every family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, pray now. Now, there is another aspect of this storm we are going to pray about. Please, and I want you to really pray with all your hearts, with holy anger, with everything that is inside of you. What kind of storm are we talking about? Storms of premature death. Storms of untimely death. Listen to me very well. Just before... Federal Medical Center, but he has this experience of all this electrical work. And just one morning, he just felt that something that the, a particular lighting bulb is not working in his in his own room. Or just trying to repair the something. That's how he was electrocuted. At a very tender it, it, both 
what the brother meted. If I remember met from years back, the young the, the wife that even brought that bought a Bible for one of my children in the children's church. I said, God, why will this thing happen to this brother, to this sister? This sister is at a tender age. If I'm but I, if I'm not mistaken, that sister cannot be more than 35. I'm telling you to tell you how, how young she's still. I mean, she is. And then look at the husband. If at all, the husband wants to be older, maybe she's, he will be in maybe early 40s. And look at it now. The brother is gone. He was electrocuted. And that was all. Just like a dream. Just like... Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sorry, network is from cheating. You want to pray. So as I was saying, the brother in question now is gone. I told you of another brother, that my friend, I told you that God has been helping him. All of a sudden, we just heard, I just heard that the, the sister also died because of cancer of the breast. And that was all. Like that, is that the way we are going to continue to lose our people? God forbid. We want to cry to God and say, God, enough is enough. Um, if you were on Facebook just this week, I mean, this last week, you will know that a particular sister was announced on the ears of God's kingdom. I don't know how many of us saw it. A young sister, 31 years. She was one of the choir. She was one that led the leading choir, uh, the one of the GCK. Uh, and now the sister had an accident, she's gone at the age of 31. In fact, I think from what I even read, self, I learned that the father happened to be a pastor, one of our pastors. And is this how we are going to keep on losing our young people? We want to cry to God of heaven and say, God, this storm that the enemy has sent into many lives, into many homes, into many, into the church, we want to command every storm of untimely death or premature death. Enough is enough. Let that be calmness. Open your mouth and begin to pray, my brothers and sisters. Open your mouth and call upon God and say, God, all the storm that is raging against individual lives, against families, against children, against uh, you know the teenagers, against our young people, against our you know our our, our beloved brothers and sisters. We want to pray. Oh Lord, let that be calmness in the name of Jesus. Those clients, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's intercede, brethren. Let's intercede and call upon the name of the Lord. Enough is enough of all this premature death, untimely death. We don't want it again. Now we have entered the month of Ember. We want to tell God and want to make a decree. No life will be lost in our midst. No Amen. life will be lost in our family. Open Amen. your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, Lord, every member of our family, they are covered with the blood of Jesus. Every one of them we are covered, including ourselves. We ourselves we are covered by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Our life is preserved, is our life is protected. When we go out, the Lord will protect us. When we come in, the Lord will protect us. When we are lying down, the Lord will protect us. When we are sleeping, the Lord will keep us. Anywhere we find ourselves, when we are traveling, the Almighty God by His power will preserve us in the day and the night. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord now. Let's ask God and say, Father, once again, oh God, preserve our lives, oh God, by your mighty power. Every undriving of death that will be reaching against every individual members on this platform, we cancel them by the blood of Jesus Christ. We nullify by the blood of Jesus Christ. Are there people that mark for death? Oh Lord, this night, this night we, we unmark them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, mm. we want to pray. I just mentioned now. It's like the enemy is targeting individual members. He will say, okay, this is the next person to be targeted. Strike him down. This is the next person. Strike her down. We want to pray tonight. 
We want to tell the Lord and say, God of heaven. He said, when I see the blood, he said, the blood shall be for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Angel of death will not be able to come near us. We want to pray between now, from now on to this ember month and even many more years to come. The blood of the everlasting covenant, the blood of Jesus Christ, he will preserve our life from all the dangers, from all the attacks of the enemy. Open your mouth and begin to appropriate that blood. The blood of Jesus Christ upon every member, every member on this platform, upon all our brothers, upon all our sisters, upon our immediate family members. Mention the name of your wife. Mention the name of your children. Mention your those who are your acquaintances, those who are close to you. Open your mouth and begin to pray. We are not going to bury anyone. We are not going to bury our young ones. Open your mouth and pray. And not be sent up. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. And say, Father, once again, oh God, Lord, we cover every one of our lives with the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ upon our spirit, upon our soul, upon our lives, upon everyone in the day and the night. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do it once again, oh Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Before Amen. I round over, hand over to Pastor Matthew, I want to pray now. We are going to pray. Do you know that many families also are experiencing storm when there is crisis in the home, crisis between the husband and the wife, and they cannot see eyeball to eyeball. And then these are people that once upon a time when they wanted to start, they said, I love you. I want to marry you. All of a sudden, Love was taken away. Love has been taken away. Hatred has come in. Bitterness has come in. They cannot see eyeball to eyeball. That is the operation of the devil. That is the operation of demons. That is the activities of the powers of darkness causing commotion, causing crisis. And you begin to see your spouse as a stranger. We want to pray tonight and say, God, every storm in every family, Every storm in every home, we want to command that stormy wind now to cease. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these storms, even in our ministry, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's combine everything together. Storm in the family, storms in our ministry, in our service unto God, and it appears some are getting discouraged. They want to throw in the towel. I said, well, I can no longer be a servant of God. I can no longer preach again because of discouragement. We want to ask God and say, Father, every storm that is raging in every home, in every family, in every ministry of us, oh God, we command that stormy wind to be still tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to the stormy wind now. Be still now in Jesus' name. Lord, have your way, oh God. Let your peace reign in every home, oh God. Where there is division in the home, oh God, we pray that the spirit of unity will come back once again. Take away crisis, take away confusion. And Lord, I pray once again between the husband and the wife, Lord, let there be one oneness, oh God. You will bring the family together, oh God, in Jesus' name. Reign supremely in every life, oh God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to call on Pastor Matthew now, please. Is Pastor Matthew there? Pastor Matthew? Is Pastor Matthew online? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm online. Yes, you sir. Can that, sir. Yes, sir. We just pray for all our pastors. If you see the way Pastor Shagun lead today, you will see that God has deposited something a lot in his life. Let's pray for all our pastors. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is good to raise their head up in the ministry. I wish you are here. Come and look at his voice. Come and look at how he's, uh, he's pronouncing. Come and look at how he's, uh, uh, the, the, the Holy Ghost is using him uh, directly to every one of us. What, or what I was saying is that, Father, with this, that, with this gift, is it going to be wasted? Let's call upon the name of the Lord beyond the, uh, the, beyond the, beyond the boundary now, by the power of God everlasting. 
God is more than God. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. They have been assigned, they have been selected, they have been anointed. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. In the ministry, God will raise their head up in the name of Jesus Christ. In the ministry, God will raise the head of all our pastors up in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. More anointing, more grace, more abundant blessing. We continue to be upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the family by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we send out all the threat, all the threat of the world. I don't want to say poverty, but whatsoever they will be, all the threat of lack, lacking, all the threat of uh, 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 Oh Lord, Lord, that will be a wall of fire all around us. God understand. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power of the Lord, God will be all our pastors' family in the name of Jesus Christ. But by the power of the Lord, He will lay His blessing upon them. His mighty hand will be upon them. The new name shall give every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. And His grace shall be sufficient for them. And His grace shall be sufficient for them. And His grace shall be sufficient for them. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we come on to you this evening, O oh Lord. Specifically, you have seen all our all our pastors, our pastor pray for the family. But Almighty oh Father, we bring all these pastors into your before you too, O oh Lord. We pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you have selected them, you have elected them. And deliberately you deposit a lot of gifts in their life. We pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, the time has come. Those gifts, they will be exploded, they will be exploded to the extent that people will be looking for them in that category in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for everyone mm. of them, they have been laboring. For, on, because of all of us, on behalf of many of us, on behalf of us, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, it's time. The time has come for their reward to come. Although no one can use your word to hold you, O oh Lord, but you allow us to ask and you allow us to, 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 us to knock. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, abundantly you are going to reward them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Not only mm. them, oh Lord, we bring the, all the wealth of our pastors, we bring them into your hand. All their children, we bring them to your, to your hand. They are your children. And the yes, people Lord. of the world, they let us know, when you see children of a king, there is no way you will know that these are children of a king. We mm. pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in all later they, uh, they need your help. You will render it for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Many people, Amen. Many people will ask them, where is their God? What is the name of the God they want to preach if they are in this condition? Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, yes, you let us know they are going to go in a narrow way. But that's why they are going to go in the narrow way. When Jesus Christ died, oh Lord, people are sharing his cloth. That show how beautiful and how neat the cloth is. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, miraculous way, financially, materially, in all area, in the all area of our all our pastors. Father, you will visit them in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, I pray mm. all the secret tears. Oh, mighty Father, how can I say to you? I, oh, the pa pastor for that matter, how can I do this? How can I do this? How can I ask this? How can I request for this? I pray by the power and all the secret tears in their room, on their bed. Father, you will wipe away in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They need testimony. Mm -hmm. Or if you give mm -hmm. them the testimony, they will use the testimony to bring other people. I pray mm -hmm. by the power and the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you will put the testimony into the mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. All the garments of disrespect, all the garments of, in, 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 I mean, 
insufficiency. All the garment of uh, all the garment of this one is not alone. We joined hand together by the power and the blood. You tear them into pieces in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, Christ, the life of all our pastors will be full of testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my mm-hmm. Father, we are the idiot. Even opportunity they see, they don't want to go. I pray by the power and the blood, you will drag them there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh my Father, I pray by the power, you will take Amen. total control of their life in the name of Jesus Christ. And the art of the prophecy, you will take away. Thank you, Amen. Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Thank Jesus' you, name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to pray for all our pastors. God will raise their head up in Jesus' name, financially, Amen. materially, in all areas of their life. By the power and the blood of Jesus, testimony will continue to abound about their life in Jesus' name. Please do not Amen. forget the uh, the uh, prayer meeting in the night. That's a, a similar whereby we are going to be praying about marriages. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. share the grace together. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit forevermore. Amen. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. God bless you. Thank you, everybody. One brother, if you want to join, but we are finished. Sabi, thank you. The joy of the Lord will continue to be our thank strength. You. In name. Amen. We shall Amen. see in the evening. I mean, in the night. Yes, Amen. Thank you. Amen. Men's, men's prayer. It's night like uh, two o'clock. All right. Uh, Ah, well, well. Maneuvering of the wicked one. Concerning our home is destroyed, is thwarted, is paralyzed this morning in Jesus' name. Thank amen. You, Lord. In Jesus' mm. name, pray. Amen. Begin to worship mm. the Lord and to give thanks unto Him. Let's praise Him. Let's honor Him. Let's come Father, together we and worship. We give you glory for. The great and the mighty things you'll be doing for us. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for worship and blessing. We we'll say glory, honor, and the reward. Thanks you be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Okay. Father, we are going to be for the great things you'll be doing. Father, we are so 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 Glory, honor, and shall thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you because we are us. Many of them are died. We are still here. We give glory because of this, O Lord. So we die so the Lord in the name of Jesus. O Lord, worship God. Bless your name. Jesus. Bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, our Amen. children and our wives want to thank God for our family. We want to thank God for his love and his mercy that have been shielding, that have been keeping, that have been protecting, that have been preserving, and that have been watching over our entire family. Shall we open our mouth and give thanks unto the Lord? Let's reference the name for the greetings we be doing for us and our family. Thank you for the good wife that you have given unto me. Thank you for the good children. 
thank you because none of them is sickly. We exalt your name, O Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We say glory, honor, those that thank you. Be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. I thank you, O Lord God, for how you have been with us from beginning to this time. They have a privilege, you know, to us, your wife and children. We exalt you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name, O Lord. I adore you. We give you the glory. We give I you the honor. In the name of 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 the name that the God of heaven will hear us even as we petition in concerning our marriages. Nothing will stand as a barrier to our prayer this morning. Shall we go before the Lord and petition Shall him? We go before the Lord. Yes. Oh God. Thou yes. Jesus, thou Lord, thou Savior, thou Redeemer, you will hear us this day. You will hear us even this time. You will hear us even this moment and glorify yourself in our life. Glorify your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Please let's talk to God in prayer. Yeah, we lift up our eyes to pray, oh Lord. As we come for you, we thank you, oh Lord. We exalt your name for all that you have been doing for us. Thank you for our families. Thank you for the children. Thank you for the church. Thank you for ourselves. Thank you for everything. Thank you for this prayer all and Thank you for Pastor Matthew that we're using to sponsor this program all this way. We give you glory, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. We give you adoration, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, you have been so good unto us. Father, you have been so good unto us. O Lord, God, you have been so good unto us. We give you the glory, O Lord. We give you the honor, O Lord. We give you adoration, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now Amen. we want to pray before God. We want to pray very quickly this morning as we devote some minutes, uh, critically as men, we devote some minutes and they're praying for our wives. And we're going to be praying. Actually, the scripture talks about the nature of women. The scripture talks, in fact, there's even a scripture that's in the book of Peter that called them and referred to them as weaker vessels. And I can show us that in scripture in 1 Peter chapter 4. But all the same, we want to present them to God. We know how fragile women can be and emotional they can be. And we know how they, they have some yeah, in, intricacies and their idiosyncrasies and all of those uh, demons that they display here and there. And it's important, it's important that we always commit our spouses unto God. Look at what he said, likewise ye husband dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. My point is that word, weaker vessel. But we trust God, whatever name that is being called here, we believe that God can so fortify our wife, that God can so make our wife so spiritual, God can make our wife so, 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 so uh, as, it, uh, as it ought to be, holy and pure and clean. We want to pray first and foremost, in the name of Jesus Christ, that God will walk upon my wife, God will walk upon your wife. Yes, if she's doing well, she can do better. If she's already doing well, oh, she can do better. That the Holy Ghost will walk upon her. The Lord Jesus will walk upon her. Spirit mm -hmm. of the Holy God will walk upon her. Mm -hmm. Many of mm -hmm. oh, you realize the man will just be criticizing the woman every now and then. Prayer, he will not pray. Calling upon God on behalf of his wife, he will not do so. Only to be comparing the wife with other people, comparing the wife with this and that. Man, pray. Husband pray, this one pray, he will not pray. Offer, so, I speak to you this morning. Complaining. Father, I lift up my wife before you, I pray. Complain I come to you before for how you have been helping her. It Lord, is good. as you have been the pillar of this house, we are so to make the Lord who worship you. We pray that more and more, O oh Lord, you will be in Jesus' name. Father, help 
Lord. Father, you uphold our Lord. Thou Lord, in the name of Jesus, every area should be looking up to you. Say, Lord, where is this going to happen? Where is that going to happen? Father, we pray that you will visit our Lord in Jesus' name. Oh Lord God, in heaven, we pray that you are continually resting upon her. Every time she look up to you, Father, speedily, Lord, you will answer our Lord in Jesus' name. My Lord, the King will continue to make her the great woman of the house. You will continue to make her the virtuous woman that she is. You will continue to shine her, continue to make her shine forth. In... Amen. We are going to pray for... Amen some uh, uh, women uh either pastor wives or leaders wife or any wives on the platform uh that have not been supportive to their husband i hope you know that it can be very painful and it can be very discouraging and it can be very demoralizing as well to have a spouse who is not supportive to have a spouse who does not really submit to have a spouse who is heady and implacable, to have a spouse who is stubborn and arrogant and full of herself. We want to pray as many uh, wives that are like that on our platform, and probably the pastor is enjoying such a wife, or the man of God is enjoying such a wife, and or the leader or whoever on the platform. Now they cannot even divorce the wife. They know divorce is a sin. They know that God does not support divorce and the rest. I mean, uh, what I mean is that divorce and remarry is a sin, rather. So, but at the same time, they don't also want to divorce and remain like that and remain single. And these wives that are not supportive, that are doing what they are doing sometimes deliberately, they know this is a man of God. And it's like wanting to frustrate the man of God. We are going to pray. The Holy Ghost will arrest such. The Holy Ghost will arrest such. The Holy Ghost will arrest such. The supernatural hand of God. Such arrogant, such implacable wife, such heady and stubborn wife, such kind of unfaithful wife, such kind of wife not supporting. Let the hand of God, the power of God, reach out to them deliver them, rescue them, so that they will realize their foolishness in the past. And then they will begin to acknowledge their God. And then begin to support their God-ordained husband. Shall we pray? Thank you, Dr. God. Father and heaven will commit all our brothers who Lord into your hands. Father, we pray that that which makes us to be a proper husband, you will give unto us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord God, in heaven, we pray that you will visit us, O oh Lord. And Father, our wives, O oh Lord, <clears throat> that are supporting, that make us the full one, O oh Lord, going we pray that anyone that has not been supportive to the husband, my Lord, the King, you will visit them, O oh Lord. You will touch them, O oh Lord, and make them to be what you have made us to be, Lord, in Jesus' name. You say, for yes. this cause, a man cleave to his wife, Wait. and the two shall become one. O oh Lord, going on, we pray that any wife that is uh, standing apart from the purpose that you have brought us together, Lord, we pray that your spirit will go into that wife and bring that wife back to the proper perspective, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Precious name we have prayed. Amen. There are, Amen. There, are, there are wives, rather than being a friend to their husband, they are foe, they are enemies. Some mm. of them, like, they are just already being initiated. And their goal is to frustrate the husband and the ministry of their husband. They will not succeed. Amen. Succeed. Such why succeed. As we Amen. agree this morning, that wherever such wives are on this platform or anywhere in our churches, that the God of heaven 
will appear. Destroy the activity of such wife. Rescue such wife before they double into hellfire. Shall we pray right now? Father in heaven, we pray and commit every word of him submissive to the husband in this platform, O oh Lord, to your hand. It is this way that husbands are the head of the family and the wife are the supporting part. O oh Lord, going on, we pray that every wife that does not be doing what she's supposed to do, O oh Lord God, in heaven, we pray that your spirit <clears throat> arrest them, O oh Lord. The spirit will arrest them, O oh Lord, and bring them to their knee. And bring them to their knee. Open their eyes to see what they're supposed to be in their home, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. The wife is supposed to be a friend, not a foe. The wife is supposed to be a partner, not a scatterer. O oh Lord, go in our way. Pray that you will bring all this wife to their knees to honor and respect their husband and be what we want them to be, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord in heaven, we commit our leaders, O oh Lord, to your hands mm -hmm. that are having um, problems with their partners. Father, we pray that you come into their case, O oh Lord. Father, come into their case, O oh Lord. Father, come into their case, O oh Lord, and settle them, O oh Lord, and settle them, O oh Lord, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray that God will make our wives spiritual. You know how beautiful it is that you have a woman who is highly sensitive to the Holy Ghost, highly spiritual, and then he can see. He can see. For the children, they are out there. There is danger. Life is already perceiving right here and in agonizing in prayer. And then while she's sitting that God opened her eyes oh, to see the danger ahead of the husband. And then she just called and said, uh, Oni, please don't fight this direction. Based on what God just with our wife's eyes will be open. Our eyes' eye will be spiritual. Our wives will not be carnal wives. Our wives will be spiritual. Jesus, make our wives spiritual women. In the name of Jesus, not carnal gossip women, not carnal licentious women, not loose and flippant women, but spiritual women, spiritual women. Please, I'm begging you to pray for your wife. In the name of Jesus Christ, your wife's eyes will be open. Your wife's eyes will be uh, uh, open. Her ears will be open. Her heart will persist spiritual thing. She will be sensitive to the Holy Ghost, sensitive to heaven. Shall we pray? Jesus, oh Lord, we now pray that you will visit us, oh Lord, visit. Oh, so Lord, and give us great partners, so oh Lord, those that are deviated from the original purpose. Oh, Father, we pray you bring them back, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father in heaven, we pray that you bring them back, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh, okay. in Jesus name. Hey. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Some years ago, I saw a movie, Running Against the Wind. It's about a young girl on campus that was being threatened and that was being victimized uh, uh, by a lecturer. And the lecturer wanted her to succumb to the pressure of sleeping with him and all of that. Uh, uh, and the girl wouldn't do that because she is a child of God. Her parents have brought her up well and all that. And the girl will not assess such. And the lecturer failed that girl in one of the core courses. One of the core courses and all of that. And the, the girl I bought a slip and brought it to the man and said, uh -uh, what happened? That look at it. I submitted social number of script and since social number and the skull and all that. So the lecturer behaved as if it was not uh, that that's what she submitted and all that. To cut a long story short, 
that gets to that gun. But here is where I'm going now. Why that girl was on campus, the father, the mother at home had a very powerful revelation of the pressure that is being mounted on their daughter on, on campus. It's not the daughter that, that probably, and they thank God for the daughter too, who will open up to the parent at home and all that. And so the mother was she was able to see something that was going on. That's what I'm saying. When I say, let's pray for our wives to be spiritual. Let's pray for our wives to be spiritual. Not that they don't even know anything. They can't perceive anything. They can't hear anything. They can't understand anything. And only just to talk on that thing, just to be loose and flip. No! Our wives may be spiritual. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we pray, O oh Lord that you help us and make mm -hmm. our wives very, very and highly mm -hmm. spiritual, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, go now we pray that you visit our homes, O oh Lord. Father, visit our homes, O oh Lord. Father, visit our homes, O oh Lord, and make our partners very highly spiritual, O oh Lord, so that at every time, O oh Lord, when the children are out the husband is out oh lord god now she will be able to feed the gap the gap oh lord Jesus. oh lord help our homes oh lord father god help our families oh lord my lord the king help our families oh lord we want to pray to our spiritual oh lord in jesus name amen hey. mm. Amen. We want to pray now. We want to mm -hmm. ask the Lord for our children. You know, I'm always, uh, because I, I relate with uh, children, young people a lot, and and uh, and I know a lot happens, a lot happens among these young people. Even yesterday, where I was invited to minister in one of our churches, in um, one of the groups, so they gathered the youth together for the for from the old group and then and I was asked to come and minister to the youth. The young boy will go. The young boy who came for counseling, it was funny what he was telling me that himself and his small girl did just yesterday after ministration and a lot of the those boys gave their life to Christ and all and then I sat down at the back for counseling time and this young man came, this young boy, and he was telling me how he started. He's, and I was like, how small is the girl? I know that she he described it to me. And sometimes you will not know how much some of these young people <clears throat> in the church have been defied until maybe they hear a particular message or they hear a particular thing that deal with their situation. They begin to open up. Then you will know a lot is happening among young people. And so I will not fail to pray for young people because the level of temptation and pressure they are faced with is much more than what we were faced with when we're going up. We want to pray right now for our children. The devil will not get your children. The Amen. devil will not lose children. Please, I'm begging, and I'm begging you to pray, pastors and leaders. The devil will not make a recall of your children. Please, let's talk to God in prayer. Don't say that your hand will be mighty upon them, your hand will rest upon them, that the devil will not be able to snatch them away from us. In the Lord, going to pray, they will not destroy children, O Lord. I pray, they will not destroy children, O Lord. O Lord, they will not destroy our children, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, going to pray that you passion of O Lord. O Lord, be mighty, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Of all the children, O Lord. I pray that one the Lord has given to me. They are for oh, yeah. signs. Because children are given up to us are for signs and for wonders. Father, let it be so, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.
-hmm. My children shall be for wonders. I, behold, in Isaiah 8, verse 18, behold, I and the children, whom the Lord had given me, are for signs and for wonders. Mm -hmm. My wife will be a sign and a wonder. David said, I am as, as, I am as wonder unto many. Our life shall be wonder. Our family mm -hmm. will be wonder to many. Our children will be signs and wonder to their equal, to their maid, to everyone around. Let's talk to God in prayer. My children will not be disgraced. My children will not be disgraced. Rather, they will be wonder. Rather, they will be wonder. Please pray and make a decree over your children. You can call their name one by one. By one. You, you will be wonder. Pray on me, you will be wonder. I know Lua, you will be wonder. Wonder unto many. Wonder, wonder, wonder. You will be signed. In the name of Jesus Christ, your life will be signed. Your name is signed. Your social life will be signed. Your social life will be signed. As you are growing up, in the name of Jesus, salvation will hit you vehemently. You will know God early. Early salvation. Early compassion. Early knowing the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let's commit them to God in prayer. There will be signs and there will be signs and wonder. There will be signs and wonder. Your children on campus will be signs and wonder. Your children in secondary school will be signs and wonder. Those of them in primary school, they will be signs mm -hmm. and wonder. Are you praying? Oh Lord, go in the room for them, make their children signs and wonders. Oh Lord. In your household, in our community, in our nation, in the name of Jesus, that the promise has given to us. Say, I and the children which my Lord has given to me will be for sex and wonder this land. Family also is a wonder. Make my wife say a wonder. Make my children say a wonder. In the name of Jesus. That you do nothing as the life of my children, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, pray, O Lord, that I touch her, O Lord. Father, 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 touch her, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of God, Father, O Lord. Among us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, your good children, your good children, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We're going to pray right now. Uh, there were children in the Old Testament that they just saw Elisha, about 42 of them. When they saw Elisha, they started abusing Elisha. You, I'm sure we remember that story. And Elisha called a bear, a, a wild animal, and that animal came out and devoured those 42 children. I'm very sure those children, they went to hell. Mm -hmm. I doubt if they would have repented because of the animal pursuing them. I don't think they would. Mm -hmm. I don't think they will call upon the name of the, the Lord. And uh, so what happened? They died. And those children, you can get them as children of Belia. Uh, you know, the children of the Bible talks about children of Belia. And if you look at our generation now, no regard for elders, no regard. Go to social media and see how people abuse elders, talk to elders anyhow. No single regard, no iota of regard. All these children of Belia will not influence our children. Children that are under cost. I was uh, talking to some people uh, yesterday, and I read a scripture to them that he who cost his mother and his father, the scripture says that his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. That's in Proverbs 2020. And I revealed to them the danger of looking down on your father and your mother, elder, generally. And I have to review to them, a lot of young people don't know that. Some can be abusive, insulting, using derogatory language, languages that are that are insulting on elder. Our children will not degenerate to that level. The devil will not so degenerate their life. And they become children of Belia. It will not be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? 
Father, and everyone is up and children, Lord, into your hand. We pray mm -hmm. for your protection upon them. Oh Lord, we pray for you. Uh, that there will not be children of, of yeah, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, we pray that your hand will be upon these children. Oh Lord, pray that your hand will be upon these children. According to your word, oh Lord, they will be great, they will be mighty in your house, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, keep our children. Father God, keep our children. My Lord, keep our children. Father, they will not be children of Belia, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. They will, they, will be not, they will not be children that will bring cost to the family. Rather, O oh Lord, they will bring goodness and greatness to our families, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, keep our children, Lord. Father God, keep our children, Lord. O oh Lord, keep our children, Lord. The media of today, the uh, service, the uh, all the network of today will not take them away, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, protect our children. O oh Lord, protect our children. My Lord, the King, protect our children. O oh Lord, God, no, protect our children. They will not be children of Belia. They will not be children of Belia. Rather, they will be children of Christ, children that will lift up your name, children like Gideon, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, uphold our children. Father God, uphold our children. I don't keep your poor children. I don't go no up poor that children. I don't go no up poor that children. I don't go no up poor that children. Keep our children from all dangers around, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, and ever protect them, O Lord. Never protect them, O Lord. Lord God, never protect them, O Lord. Lord God, never protect them, O Lord. Keep our children away from dangers, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, keep them away from danger. Keep them away from danger, Lord. Keep them away from danger of the day, from eternal danger, from foster danger, from your own danger. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, protect our children, O oh Lord. My Lord, you can protect our children, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, God, will protect our children, O oh Lord. My Lord, God, will pray that you keep our children, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> well, we pray last day before I hand over to Pastor uh, Peter to lead just for a few minutes. We want to pray for the men in the name of Jesus Christ. We are calling upon God for the men. All that it takes for us to take care of our family, God should make available. Let me say this. It's not a good thing that the man is not able to get up for the family. Now, if the man is making thoughts and things are not coming yet, that is understandable. But if the man just folds his hand and uh, uh, is not ready to do anything as such, and is not ready to be hard working, and is not ready to exert energy, it, it's not right. The scripture does not even support such. And uh, so, and it's not, it's demeaning for any man not to be able to take care of his family. The scripture says that the person has denied the faith uh, may not be our portion and is worse than infidel. So it's not a good testimony at all. And that's why we want to take God to go to the Lord in prayer that all that it takes for us to really take care of our family spiritually, physically, financially, socially, psychologically, and emotionally as men, may God provide all this for all. May God supply all this for all. May God make us capable. May God help us dependable parents, dependable husbands, de dependable fathers. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, open channel, enlarge our coast, enlarge our life, and provide massively, provide abundantly upon us so that we can actually take care of our family. Shall we pray? Over to Father, everyone, we commit ourselves, oh Lord, to your hand. We pray that you uphold us, you help us, and provide for us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I said, if a man is unable to cater for his household, is worse than an infidel. Mm -hmm. Father, in heaven, I come before your throne of mercy. 
Oh Lord, I come before your throne of mercy. Father, I pray, oh Lord, that you set us and give us the grace to be up and doing at all times, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the men in the platform, oh Lord. The fathers, oh Lord, we pray that you open the windows of heaven us, O oh Lord, connect us, O oh Lord, to be able to do that which you expect of us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord God, in heaven, help us, O oh Lord. Father, in heaven, help us, O oh Lord. My Lord, the King, help us, O oh Lord. Make us the dependable men that we are supposed to be in our house, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you bless the work of our hands. Oh Lord God, I will pray that you break the walls of our hand. My Lord God, I will pray that you break, you break the walls of our hand. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, open heaven, oh Lord. Father God, open heaven, oh Lord. Father God, open heaven, oh Lord. And provide for us, oh Lord, so we'll be able to be up and doing, oh Lord, and be able to be the pain we are supposed to be in our house, oh the Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We are still going to we are still going to pray on that line. You know, in the book of Kings, uh, the prophet Elias came to the widow woman, and the woman said, My husband was faithful to you, my husband was serving you faithfully till he died. And now because of death here and there, the men have come, they want to take our two sons to be born men. What oh, happened to that man? We don't know the story of that man. I lived, he was righteous, that is all we know, he served God. But maybe he was unable to meet up his need as the man of the home. That's why he was owing. That's why after the death, the people came, wanted to take his children to be slaves. A man of God, a man who served God righteously. After his departure, they wanted to take the children to be born men, to be slaves. Now we are going to pray for all our pastors, all our leaders in the platform, in the household of faith, that God will bless the works of our hands. Jesus. That God will bless the works of our hands. That God will bread upon the little that we have and make it plenty to be able to take care of our family. Shall we pray? Do that which you expected of us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you bless the works of our hands. O Lord, we will supply all our needs. Father, we will prosper that which we do according to your promises, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. So that we serve you, O Lord, we will not serve you in death. We will not be your servants that we are owing here and there. O Lord, it is not your wish. It is not your will. It is not your purpose. O Lord, in heaven, we pray that you help your servants, O Lord, at this end time, you prosper us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You want us in our lives, O oh Lord, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we are going to pray. Uh, you see what now happened when the man of God. As the woman, what do you have at home? The woman said, I have just a small oil. And he said, okay, go and borrow a lot of vessels, shut your door, fill. And we saw what happened that at the end, the woman was able to fill all those vessels. At the time she needed more, it was finished, and the oil stopped running. Now we are going to pray. That, that little thing that our hands find to do, that God will break upon them. God will so prosper us in a way that we'll be able to cater for our household. 
we're able to meet the needs, all the needs in the family, so that we, our children, will not be taken away from us to be slaves or to be taken away from us by force to go and like uh, we watch some African movies when people we hold later the, the person that they borrow from come.